The T-Pump localized temperature therapy system from C2DX provides safe and effective localized warming and cooling therapy with precise temperature control. To use the T-Pump, attach the pad to the permanently connected hose. Make sure there are no kinks in the hose or pad. If using a T-Pump system with click-tight connector pads, interconnect the fittings and snap the lock ring into place. To disconnect, reverse the procedure. Now, open the hose pinch clamps to ensure water flows to the pad by pushing on the serrated end. If using a T-Pump system with colder connector pads, interconnect the fittings. When you hear an audible click, you have joined the connectors. To disconnect, press down on the thumb tab and the couplings will partially disconnect. Then, you can pull them apart. To fill, open the tethered fill cap on the top of the pump. For warming therapy, fill with room temperature tap water to the warm water line. For cooling therapy, fill with cold tap water to the cool water line. Then, fill the remainder of the reservoir with ice. Plug the T-pump into a wall outlet and turn on the unit by pressing the on standby button. The green light indicates the unit is on. The yellow light indicates the unit has power and is in standby mode. Toggle the therapy button to the prescribed therapy time. The time period is equal to the therapy cycle selected. For example, a 20-minute cycle heats at the set temperature for 20 minutes and is off for 20 minutes, then heats for 20 minutes, and so on. It is important to note that the continuous setting does not have an off time period. Set the temperature by toggling the temperature button to the prescribed setting as directed by a physician. The temperature light will flash until the set temperature has been achieved. When it reaches the set temperature, the unit will beep and the temperature light will turn solid. To prevent tampering with control settings, press and hold the lock button for two seconds. To unlock, simply press and hold the lock button for two seconds. Apply the pad to the patient as directed by a physician. Position the pump at or above the level of the pad. Do not place the pump below the pad as the water will drain into the pump during shutoff. Check on the water level. If it drops below the operating level, add water to the fill line. Please take note of any warning lights. If the low flow light glows yellow, check for kinks in the hoses or inadequate water level. If the warning light glows red, See the Operations or Maintenance Manual for full instructions for use, indications for use, warnings, and cautions. Be sure to monitor the patient's skin condition every 30 minutes or as directed by a physician. When therapy is complete, turn the unit off by pressing the On Standby button. Unplug the unit. To prevent spillage, raise the connections above the pad and pump before disconnecting the pad. If you're using click-tight connectors, close all pinch clamps and attach the connectors together. Then, coil the hose and secure it to the pump using the tube set strap. Always follow all cleaning and storage instructions until the next time the T-pump is used.